Okay, in this tutorial, I'll go through with you CRUS symbol stock. I'll just copy this and I'll paste it and type in stock. And um, then I will um, just, uh, this is the name of the stock. We'll just have a re read through it and uh, let's go through it together. Um, if I want to buy the stock right now, um, I'll just see the price of the stock and um, it's very easy 44.62 and it's in US dollars that's the currency so I'll just copy that I'll paste it here and I'll just change the format okay so I want to know when was it founded okay just out of curiosity um, this is this is this part uh, the right part is information from Wikipedia the left part is from Google I'll just click Wikipedia and I'll just zoom it zoom in for you and you can see it founded in 1981 I'll just copy that I'll paste it here 1981 um, I'll explain you the sector later in the video let's now concentrate on the four ratios okay and um, I use the website macro trend for this and you can see the link for this in my video uh, in description so just click there and um, Click on price ratios, then price book ratio, and type in uh, the the symbol here, and make sure that the name besides the symbol is the same one. This one, and I'll just make sure it's the one I clicked. Yes, that's the one. And uh, then, uh, so I'm just concentrating on price book ratio. For those of you who don't know what that is, I'll just explain you briefly. Uh, book value is the real value of the stock okay stock price is the price that you will be paying uh, to buy the stock okay so even if the real value is one dollar for example and the stock price could could be ten dollars so it means the the stock that you're buying from the market uh, uh, which costs you ten dollar might be one dollar worth okay so you need to be careful that you're not buying the stock very expensive because if you're buying ten dollar uh one dollar worth stock uh of ten dollar then you're paying nine times more than what you should be paying for that stock so you you know you have to be careful about that so to know that the uh, price book ratio is important because if the price book ratio is one or less than that if it's less than one then it means you're getting it at a discount you're getting a bargain so which is very good you, you should look for bargains so you're getting the stock cheap if it's one it means that you're getting what the value book value is so it's exactly the same but if it's more than one then you're buying an expensive stock okay so let's see the data we have of june 2019 and it's 2.26 which means that the stock in the market is 2.26 times more expensive so somebody who buys it in June 2019 will be buying it 2.26 times more will be paying 2.26 times more than they should be paying so if I just go back it's 1.74 and uh, that is uh, cheaper the stock is cheaper then now now they'll be paying more so if somebody bought it in december 2018 they were paying 1.74 times the amount but now they will be paying 2.26 times the amount and the cheapest it was in 2008 when it was lower than one uh, ratio it was 0.97 which means that you could buy the stock at bargain it was a discount because if you look the the book value was $2.76 which is the real price or the real worth of the stock but you could buy it off the market at 2.68 so you were buying the you were you could buy the stock very cheap a few cents cheaper than its real worth so this is the ideal situation in 2008 December but right now the stock is 2.26 times more expensive so you need to be careful about that now let's look at other ratios and current ratios is that if your assets are more than liabilities then it's a good thing if current ratio is one then it means assets equal to liabilities but we want a ratio 
that gives us margin of safety that makes stock less risky so we want to buy stocks when it's not risky so it should be 1.5 or more than that so let's see what it is right now it's 5.41 which means stock is not risky it has a lot of margin of safety it should be at least 1.5 but now it's 5.41 which is very good if i just go back it's still more than 1.5 let's see the previous ones okay yes so since 2005 up till now it's always been above 1.5 so which is brilliant because that means that this stock is very very secure okay let's see debt to equity ratio this ratio tells us if the business is operating mainly on debt or on equity if it's operating mainly on debt that means that it's not safe it's very risky stock if it's operating mainly on equity that means it's very safe stock so the ratio we are looking at should be 0.5 or less than that for it to have a good margin of safety right now it's zero that is brilliant it means it has no debt okay let's go back it's zero 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 and then it's 0 0.05 which is less than 0 0.5 less than 0 0.5 less than 0.5 and then zero zero so it has never been 0 0.5 right now it's ideal but it has never been 0 0.5 or more than that so it means it's very safe in that way it's not operating mainly on debt and it has a good margin of safety let's look at return on equity so it should be 8% or more than that for it to be good margin of safety uh, it's 7.93% which is not a lot uh, which is which is good but it's nearly 8% okay let's look at that it's 8.442 which is good so it has been consistently over 8% until uh, from 2010 March it has been consistently over 8% which is brilliant but before that it was less than 8% and even in minuses as well it went so after 2010 uh, up till now um, it has been always been up uh, above 8% but just now right now it's 7.93 which is almost 8% so it's good so for like nearly 19 years now uh, 19 not sorry nine years eight nine years it has been uh, consistently above eight percent which is brilliant let's search the stock uh, and see if it pays any dividends or not let's search it in google uh, there's no dividend yield it's not applicable maybe so it's not paying any dividend so this means that the stock if some stock is paying a dividend which means that it's an extra cash they're paying to shareholders which means that the company is generating enough money that they can pay off their share shareholders uh, after investing the, the money back in the company they still have money money left so they are generate they are in a good financial position but this stock doesn't have any dividend yield so that's fine and the market cap we just want to know if it's a billion company a million company it's a billion company it's a big company uh, it's 2.59 billion let's see uh, the reviews in indeed let's see what the workers have to say about this farm because that gives us very important aspects so let's click here indeed and we can see that it got 4.1 star which is brilliant for the farm it's really doing good and it has 46 reviews which is quite a good reviews 46 reviews are good ones you can read through them and let's check it in Glassdoor because that's also a very important website and let's click on it and um, it's uh, I can see I can see 149 reviews which are a lot of reviews to judge something and it's 4.1 star which is brilliant so it means the employees are having like you know they are enjoying and uh, they love the company it's a great place to work because it's 4.1 stars and it's not based on one or two reviews it's based on 149 reviews which is quite a lot now let's see if it has any patents. I'll go to Justia patents and you can find the link in the description. I'll click there and let's paste it here and click enter. And let's see. So I'm just interested. I'm not interested in the inventors because they don't have all the rights of the uh, patents. Uh, so I'm all only interested in, um, I'm only interested in assignee or applicant and um, uh, so because those are people that have full rights of the stocks 
So let's see. It's 1997, 2012, 2012, 2012. That's fine. 2012. It has another patent. 2013, 2013, 2012, 1997, 1995, 2000. So it means it has a lot of patents. I can see. But I am interested. Also interested that if they have any recent patents, because people could be innovating. Companies could be innovating at start when they were formed but maybe later on they are not innovating and they don't have any patents so I need to go through the list but I, I, I don't because the video would get quite long so you can go through yourself in 2001 and uh, patents are very important because they act as a moat and moat gives a competitive edge so they can thrive the competition and uh, so this is very important to look at in 2011 and there's a long list so uh, you can just go through yourself and lastly, I'll show you the um, salaries of key executives. You just go to Yahoo Finance, click there, and just go here. And uh, make sure that the symbol matches with the name of the company. Go to Profile. And you can see the sector. It's in technology. It's semiconductors industry. And full-time employees are 1551. And you can see the key executives, which are the main people in the firm. You can see the name, title, and the salary. And um, I'm happy that they have shown all the salary of all every every executive, which means it's very transparent. And you can, you know, the more transparent, the more information you have about the firm, uh, the more you can trust them. So it builds trust, so which is very important. And then you can just go through it as 